every once in a while, we get a special invitation to do something amazing. And we love that we get to share these experiences with you. Rob follows KYD, and when he heard we were going to Nova Scotia, he wrote to us and said, how would you like to go out with my father-in-law on his lobster boat in Sydney, Nova Scotia? And of course we said yes. Now Paul's been a fisherman for over 50 years, and you're gonna see the real deal, his daily routine. And you should know, it starts a bit early. Thank you. Nice to meet you, my husband Paul. Hey Paul, nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you for letting us stay here. Oh, you're welcome. Hey Trish, what time is it? Really? Yeah. It's 4.14. Isn't that your bedtime? Don't you go to bed yeah. around 4? Getting in, getting in. <laughs> getting in. <laughs> 6 o'clock, I'm gone. Are you? Do you really? Oh, yeah. How do you go to bed at 6 o'clock? You got to. You're getting up at 2 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> that's not just for one day, eh? That's every day. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, really? Friday, so. Saturday, right? Okay. So I'm today. usually at Timmy's around anywhere between 2.30, quarter to 3 when I go in and get my coffee, right? Okay. But I just go in and pull in, grab my coffee and gone. But if you're you're going to be waiting there, I'll just wait for you if I'm early or something. Right? I'll just pull in the parking lot and wait. Yeah. All right, how long does it take to get set up at the boat and everything? <sighs> Don't take me long. I'll go down. See, I go down. I go down early. I'll be honest with you. I go down an hour, an hour and a half early. Okay. And I like to sit in my truck and chill out and drink my coffee. Okay. okay. The boys might have a bit of bait to chop or something, but tomorrow they won't because they're putting redfish on, so they don't have anything to chop. Yeah, yeah. But we usually go down aboard the boat at 3.30. I'll start the end, check the oil and everything, I'll start it up, let everything warm up, turn all the electronics on, get everything warmed up. As soon as everything's warmed up, I'll just tell them, let her go. And yeah. Away we go. Away you go. How far we go out? You don't go very far offshore. Okay. But I go down right down on what I call my southern end, right? That's the farthest to the south that mm -hmm. I go. Mm -hmm. I'll steam right down there because it's dark, right? You can't haul traps anyway. You're going to see guys hauling traps with lights and everything, but I'm not one of them guys. Yeah. I, I like to do it in the daylight. Okay. <laughs> okay. But anyway, I go right down my southern end. I just take my time going down, right? Because I know I've got lots of time. Not going to be daylight till 4.30 before I can start seeing anything anyway. So as long as I'm there for 4.30, and then I start at 4.30. And we haul. We'll haul up and down, up and down. Then we'll go to another place, up and down, up and down, up and down. Then we'll go to another place, up and down, up and down, up and down. Now I gotta ask the obvious question. Why so early? Early bird gets the worm. <laughs> It's like a little bulldog. <laughs> it is like it a little does. bulldog. I tell you when the tide is really running here, you got about six or seven knot tide here. I looked at it from right here. I thought maybe there was wind on top or something. Well, you can see the little bit of wind That's on right. there. I don't think. I'm just listen if I could hear it on the stern of the boat. Nope. That's so cool. Yeah, see the big there, the big here on the ends are open. Yes. Water comes up to that level and goes back out. Okay, so it's flushing it the whole time. Yep. And double so how many crate? How many crates can you put in there? I can buy double stack. I can put 280 crates in here. Oh wow. 280 crates. Wherever you at. The, and the lobster the, stays inside the crate, and yeah. you can get them in there. All those lines at the bottom there, right, aerating lines, right? Mm. We got an air pump here. Yep. Yep. It's continuously pumping air into the water. Mm. So it's a huge fish tank. Yes. Incredible. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's so neat. Waking up early always feels exciting. It does, doesn't it? Because there's no reason to be up this early unless you're doing something great. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning, we're doing something great. Oh, wow. What's the motor? That? Yeah. It's a 6V71 Detroit.
back. He's very cool. Oh, look, this looks like where I naturally belong. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? You're not getting there today. <laughs> Well, that's everybody on board. If they if they bought a big lunch, that way when they get sick, that Paul can eat the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you can let her go. So what if I got to stay in here for a few minutes before we can see? At least we're out there. <laughs> Our measure. <laughs> this is your measure, actually, because this is American gauge, three and a quarter inch carapace. Oh, really? Yeah, we we're gone up to the American. One time we had three and three sixteenths. Okay. But there was a lot of controversy. Blah 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 blah. So we up well quite a few years ago now. We up to three and a quarter inch. Oh my gosh. Oh my now I gotta start untangling that. 
when you look at all these movies out there, you see they're white, they're green, they're blue, but it's like a language because each one belongs to a different fisherman. And what you may or may not know is that it also has to do with the depth. They're really? telling you different things. It's a whole language. It's so cool. So they know exactly which ones are in which sequence and where they are on the floor. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. Is it lunchtime yet? <laughs> oh. What time is it? 25 after 5. Wow. Just getting started. How many pots you pulled up, or how many traps? Uh, 10, 20, 30, 36 we've got hollow right now. How many are we going to? 16.4 female. Is that the one potter? Is that that bigger? Now was this the one I said I was giving you? Caleb? Is that the one I said? I'm just going to take That pot there, you want them to move between a third and half full of water. So I don't want in that pot. Okay. I'm going to give you some salt to add to it. Okay. Put the salt in, boil the water, get it boiling good. Okay. Then put your lobsters in. Take the bands off before mm -hmm. you put them in the water. Okay. Because you're going to taste the rubber if you don't. Some people say I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. You can taste the rubber off. I believe you. you Best not to turn the lobster on his back when he gets in the water. Right? Be careful because the water's boiling. He might flip his tail and stuff too, right? Oh. So just flip him on his back and put okay. him in the water. Only take a second. He's going to be dead. Okay. And especially the ones on the top of the pot, make sure they're on their back. Okay. It's Whoa. a hook better. Look at that claw. Watch the Watch the stove, and when it starts boiling again, mm -hmm. boil those lobsters there for about 25 minutes. 25 minutes. And then take them off right away mm -hmm. and put them in cold water. Okay, cold That's, water. Yeah. I can do that. You That's can just take the pot now and go down by the shore and just burst the water there. Leave it leave in the cool water until they, until they cool off, right? Okay. okay. Oh, the race is on. I think Charlie's gonna beat him. I think Charlie's got him. Oh, not even close. Not even close. Mr. Webbeak got you by a mile. 
Good boy, Charlie. That's a fair race right there. That's a fair race. <laughs> Charlie! <laughs> Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! You want to keep going swimming, Charlie? We got Hot Lobster coming through. Here he is. He was in salty water for 25 minutes. The captain told me what to do. And now he's getting an ice bath immediately following. Oh, okay, I'm gonna drain out some of that hot, hot water. Okay, so okay. Paul said, he says he doesn't know why, but giving a little ice bath right after they come out it, of the water. It makes perfect sense. Like if you're cooking vegetables or anything like that, like if you're doing green beans, you would cook them in boiling water just really quick until they turn green and float mm -hmm. to the surface. Throw them in an ice bath, it immediately stops the cooking so you get it just right. Ah. So anyway, so then what will happen here, I think, I've never done this before, but the um, meat will shrink away mm. from the shell and it will preserve um, its juiciness. So a couple things. First off, the ratio that he told me to do was one gallon of water for one cup of salt. Mm. I know that sounds like a lot, but it helps with the flavor of the meat. Oh, it's pretty salty. Said, yeah, they also said that they prefer their meat the second day. After you cook it, you put it in the fridge. They said there's just something about it. It just, the the flavor becomes even better. But their favorite way of eating lobster is like with mayo on a, on a sandwich. Yes, so essentially a lobster roll yes. deluxe. And Paul was having a, a, a lobster roll while he was catching lobster. <laughs> All right, so now we're headed to Michael and Amanda's house. They're KYD insiders. They live 19 minutes from here. <laughs> and we're gonna celebrate 4th of July with them. How nice! They yes, said sir. they were gonna fly the Stars and Stripes they for us. They said that, yeah. Isn't that sweet? Um, and Trish, last night we cooked the, we boiled the lobster. And Trish, we're gonna swing by a grocery store and Trish is gonna make what we're gonna call Captain Paul's Sliders. Sliders. Lobster sliders. Yes. Well, he's a fan of a sandwich. Yes. Which is a roll. Captain so, Paul but and the whole family. On it. Yeah. So anyway, we're excited. We'll share that with I you over at, at Michael and Amanda's. And, uh, and, and still lots more to do in Cape Breton. I'll come out and help. Hi. How was it? Um, Good, but no chives, no tarragon. What? That was the whole thing. So we'll have to work with my dill. I have dill. We're doing that. I think that that is actually a good lesson. What? You just gotta use what you got. <laughs> As you catch lemons. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know what grocery store doesn't have chimes or tarragon. Well, their herbs were just demolished. The boxes were Oh, there. because it's 4th of July. So well, they ran out. You mean Canada Day. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Amanda? Yes, Amanda. Trish, Hello. Caleb. Nice Come in. Oh, <laughs> I'm a little dusty. Oh, that's all right. How are you? These little guys? No, oh, right down there. Oh my gosh. Okay, have it. Look at how beautiful that is. <laughs> eat it, eat, eat it, it, eat it, eat it. It's amazing, isn't it's it? It's amazing. I just picked that from there. The sun and the soil made this, first of all, beautifully red fruit. That's what I thought. But they just filled me in that you're not supposed to harvest the first year. So not only are we getting to have a strawberry, this took two years or a whole, you know, two seasons to come to fruition, to get the berries like this. Amazing, it's gorgeous. It's delicious. It's just amazing. It's right are, you, are you telling me chives Look have it. this really pretty flower on yes. them and I never knew this? Yeah. Don't pick them, yeah. You would never know. <laughs> Isn't that neat? I'm embarrassed that I never knew a chive was actually pretty. So beautiful? Yes. Yeah. Look, you know what this is? $4.99. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the tarragon here? This is the tarragon. No way. Look at how much it is. Yeah, it's just, it's gone crazy. I really like this spot. I had it. Yeah, I was going to make like a lemon tarragon um, mayo. 
Okay, and what's so, the plan here, Trish? Um, well, right now I'm just gonna prepare this. Remember, this we're just making this up. I know. I have no, we're not, This there's no guidelines Maybe we here. shouldn't even call this Captain Paul because- Oh, we gotta taste it first to make sure it's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay? And we have a live audience. It's some food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, like, it's like being a member of the Galloping Gourmet. Yes, like yes, that. yes. Galloping Gourmet. One of the little tips is to take out your seeds. So that way you mm. get more impact without some of maybe the water that can mm. start to be extracted from your seeds. So I like to just take those out. And then you're still left, if you use an English cucumber or a um, Parisian, those are mm -hmm. the really tiny ones, mm -hmm. um, you can leave the skins on, which is so nice because it just gives you a little something more to bite in. And whenever I make a sandwich, like roast, and you guys really like our roast beef sandwiches that we have. I do. So I'll make like a little mayo mm -hmm. with horseradish and some Dijon. That's an awesome sauce for a uh, roast beef sandwich. And then do really thin sliced cucumbers. Gives it the perfect crunch, a little zing with the horseradish. It's awesome. Um, okay, so we're gonna do that. We cooked up gorgeous lobsters yesterday. Here's all the meat. And then typically lobster rolls are just the tail because you want to save the little the little clampers mm, for yeah. butter. But today we're going all out. Yeah. So um, we have both, we're gonna yeah. use both. We're gonna make a um, mayo first and then we're gonna put in some lemon zest. Mm -hmm. You know I love my lemon zest. And some mayo. Okay. So that's what we're gonna would do. Would you use Dukes if we were in South Carolina? Yes, yes I would. Okay. And Amanda has the most gorgeous garden. Look at, we picked fresh strawberries mm -hmm. and we're going to use her fresh chives mm. and we're gonna put in a little tarragon. So we'll make a tarragon lemon mayo as the base. Okay, so taste the first one and then let's see what we need to add. I don't need anything. You don't need anything? I like it. Okay. Yeah. Well, then that's good. I love it. I wouldn't even butter the bun. I like it. That's what the thing I like the most about a Hawaiian roll is that it's soft. And it's, I, it's refreshing. What makes this refreshing? Lemon. Yeah. I think it's great. Nicely done, Trish. Okay. I think we can call this Captain Paul's lobster sliders. With Michael and Amanda's kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for this. You are so welcome. <laughs> you are so welcome. We're so happy to have you in our kitchen. Oh, thank you.